Hey all, Russ here, Revere TV. Welcome back to the Van Cave. We survived lows yesterday. I worked late in the evening last night. Getting that plumbing in. I'll show you here in a second. Check it out. Went ahead and uh, fitted the bed. I had to cut the foam. That's a 10 inch memory foam. Type mattress, good enough. Similar to what I had in the cargo trailer, they're very comfy. Got the toilet set. I covered stuff up so I don't, I'm not getting dust all over it again. So, got that secure a little bit better. Still have to install the rubber underneath uh, the fridge. But those are just minor, minor details. I got the plugs I'm gonna run. I have to make up my own special shore power cord. I'll show you that in another video, but I'm going to run the shore power to this thing. I'm Alrighty, what, okay, let's go up here. I'll show you. First thing, I added a fill. This is where the fresh water will go into the tank. Yay. So that's all done. It's vented right there. Got the stove mounted. I'll set the plates, the grill things, whatever, later. Sink is installed. That's looking good. Faucet, it's all installed. Here's the doors that I cut. But I want to get different hinges. I screwed up. I don't want the doors sticking out. I want them flush. So I got to get a different hinge for that. No biggie. So, anyway, that's what the doors, the cabinet will look like. Here, I'll get back a little bit. That's what it'll look like with the doors on it. Doesn't look bad. Okay. Plumbing. And that was quite a little chore last night. All right. Check it out. Even got me a little light. Yay. <laughs> Okay, I went back to just having one 10 gallon tank for fresh water for now. Back in here, uh, be storage or whatever. There's a stove, I got it all secured in there. Here's the intake line. It goes back up in there to the fill in the vent. When I was at Lowe's, I forgot the half inch plug. <laughs> Always something. Always something. Anyway, it comes out. There's a shutoff here for the tank. You always want plenty of shutoffs in these things in case you got to service your pump or whatever. There's the pump. It's all hooked up. Goes up to the little pressure accumulator. Up to the faucet. I got to cap the hotline for that because only cold will be going up here. Then this will drain into the that tank for now. I'll, I'm gonna mess with that later. This is plenty good enough for now. It's just good. All right, all the 12 volt, the 110's operational. This plug's operational. Here, I'll show you. There's a switch for the pump. So this is all done. I mean, pretty much good to go. Couple of odds and ends like the plug down here and cap that line whatever and then get the doors mounted on it so we're looking good oh and then the drain so in saying that i also installed a carbon monoxide detector right there so what's on the list now i'm going to fit that shelf up top over there get that installed i want to get some fabric for it too though so, but that's a little project. <laughs> One thing I'm going to show you, this is funny. Out of all the woodwork I've done, I've always had this door open. <laughs> I got to cut that little piece and insulate it. Goodness gravy. Door's always open, I keep forgetting it. <laughs> so, that's a project. And we're looking good. We are looking good. 
I'm going to do a few more odds and ends here. So I'll be back. I'll show you. All righty. Check it out. It's raining. A little bit. Sprinkling. Pavement's wet. Raining up in the hills. Okay. I got shore power. Yay. Got it plugged in here. That goes up in the van. I got to tighten all that up. You can hear the battery chargers going down here. And 13.6. So the shore power is charging batteries and feeding a 12 volt. So if I'm plugged in like in a campground even here in the shop uh, everything will be working. Yay. Cool. Happy to have that. That that came out of the cargo trailer, that panel. Those are expensive. So, alrighty. <clears throat> you can hear the cooling fan kick on and off. All right, speaking of cooling fans, I got this little guy here. It's going to go inside a vent. That'll help circulate air in here, which I don't think I need anyway. All righty, shore power. I'm going to go ahead and button this thing up, clean it up. Maybe I'll fire up that fridge too, see how that works. Alrighty. Okay, well, rainy days, rainy evenings. In the morning, I'm going to head to Lowe's, get my parts I need to get the doors on the cabinet. Look at this, I installed a uh, voltmeter back here so I can uh, regulate the voltage back here too. In time, I'll add a bunch of stuff. Also, I'm real happy. I hooked up the fridge, took about an oh, hour and a half. I had it on uh, 110 for a while, 110 voltage, and I switched over to battery. It's got all kinds of settings. Right now I got set on between 43 and 45. The thing's quiet. You can barely hear it run. Nice. So, plan A, watch it rain all night. <laughs> And then uh, head to Lowe's in the morning. I'll pick up uh, those plugs I needed for the tank, the hinges, and just a couple other odds and ends. This thing's getting uh, ready to rock. Uh, Saturday, uh, today's Thursday evening, so tomorrow, Friday, I'll work on it. Maybe Saturday we can actually do a small road trip or something. Now Monday, I canceled. I was going to go to Quartzsite tomorrow, which is Friday. But with all the heavy rains, it, there's no sense. Can't do any filming if I... So I canceled that till Monday. So no Quartzsite until Monday. Maybe we can run find some flowers. Or this something. Run the van around for a while. Even have cold water. <laughs> okay, I can call this video. Talk soon.